Hello, today we are going to install on Ubuntu 24.04 the remote desktop protocol server XRDP. First of all, I'm going to install the OpenSSH server such that I can connect to the virtual machine using uh, the SSH client. So that would be become super user. Apt install OpenSSH server. Yes. Okay, so now we should be able to connect to the virtual machine using SSH. I'm actually going to disconnect from the graphical user interface session. So I'm using Ubuntu 24.04, which uses GNOME desktop. Log out from the graphical user interface session, which would be log out. Okay, so we're not going to connect graphically to the virtual machine using the virtualization software Word Manager. Instead, we're going to look at the IP address of the machine and connect using the SSH client. Yes, password, and I'm connected to the virtual machine. Next up, let's install the XRDP RDP server. I have a wiki page for that. And mariusp.github.io. It's really simple to install on at least Kubuntu. Let's see how easy it is to install it on Ubuntu. Ubuntu uses KD Plasma and Ubuntu uses GNOME shell by default. Okay. Once the server is installed, in order to connect to the SSH server or to the RDP server, we will use a command line like this one. Control Shift D. Let's um, edit the command line in a text editor. So the IP address ends with uh, 13. And this should be it. And now we're connected to the virtual machine using a graphical user interface connection using the RDP protocol, remote desktop protocol. The server that's running on the Ubuntu 24.04 machine is named XRDP. The client is FreeRDP. There's an executable for um, X11, which is called XFreeRDP. Another one for Wayland, which is called WL3RDP. I'm on X11, so this is the command line that I'm using. I say start with a resolution of 1080p if you can. If there's not enough space, such as in this case, then because we're using dynamic resolution, the window of X3RDP will use as much space as possible on my desktop, which will keep a bit of space for the main KDE Plasma panel. And then the actual size of the FreeRDP RDP client window will be sent to the virtual machine and it will tell the virtual machine, please resize your GNOME shell to this very strange resolution such that there's no scaling, fonts look crisp, and everything works correctly. And uh, if you want different sizes for the resolution of the virtual machine, you just resize the RDP client. So there's the GNOME 
action start button. We can search. There's applications. There's the terminal. So pretty fast and quick, but that's all there is to it. You just install Ubuntu 24.4 in a virtual machine or on a real machine. Then if you're like me, you're going to install the SSH server. And then in order to install the XRDP server, there's just one command line. Apt install and then two dev packages, XRDP and XORG XRDP. Because Ubuntu 24.04 is still using, is still installing the X11 session for GNOME Shell, that will be made available to XORG XRDP. When I try to connect to the virtual machine using RDP, XRDP and XORG XRDP are going to create a new X11 server session using the default uh, desktop of the operating system, which is GNOME Shell. And then I will just be able to connect to the virtual machine using the command line mentioned here. Let's look at the client command line again. So it's X3RDP because um, I'm running X11 in here from the free RDP package. And then I specify the username, the Linux user name in the, on the RDP server, then the resolution that I prefer. But if there's not enough space for this resolution on my machine where I run the RDP client, or if I resize the window of the RDP client, then the RDP client will tell the RDP server, hey, please resize GNOME shell to this particular size. So resizing works correctly. Copy paste of text works correctly. And um, even we have uh, most of the features from the RDP protocol. We're using the best uh, speed, network speed communication between the RDP client and the server. We're using uh, RDP remote desktop protocol extensions, remote FX and graphics and video. And we're even taking the sound from the RDP server and playing it on the RDP client machine. And even playback of YouTube videos, for instance, should work great. Let's actually test that. Let's see. Big Buck Bunny. Okay, so this level of quality was something that you couldn't, you could only dream of to connect in your local area network over a VPN to a different machine and the destination machine is Linux and then you can pull audio and video from there and there's no stuttering, menus are shown immediately, there's no lag and anything you can use integrated development environments such a such a great achievement for uh, for linux the rdp protocol server xrdp and the client x3rdp thank you